Contingencies, what are they? What do they mean to buyers? What do they mean to sellers? Stay tuned to figure out, I'm gonna talk about it today. For those of you new to our channel, make sure to click the subscribe button below or to click notifications and please throw us a like. We will have new episodes every week. Today we're talking contingencies. What is a contingency? A contingency is a part of a real estate contract that must be fulfilled in order for the contract to become valid. So what are the main contingencies that we see in a real estate contract every single day? Well, there are four of them. The four biggies that we see are the home inspection, financing, appraisal, and home sale contingency. So what is a home inspection contingency? In a home inspection, the buyer is having an inspector come out, an inspector is a general expert of all things to do with the home. The inspector is going to look at the roof, the interior systems, pests, they're going to look at potential issues with the home, and at the end they're going to provide a lengthy report, a bible so to speak, of everything that you need to know about your new potential home. So as part of the home inspection contingency, buyers can go back to a seller if they find issues with a property and request that certain changes be made, request for a buyer credit, request for all sorts of things, but this can be negotiated or the buyer has the right at that point to walk away from the transaction. All right, so we have a financing contingency. In a financing contingency, it basically says that if the buyer is unable to obtain financing, they do not have to purchase the home. So if you're a buyer out there concerned about, oh, if I go to purchase this home, I won't get my loan and I'll be stuck, that's what a financing contingency is for. It's not gonna happen to you. So as part of a finance, financing contingency, what we'll often see is an appraisal contingency, and this is because lenders require an appraisal. If you don't know what an appraisal is, an appraisal is a third party valuation of your property. So the bank's gonna put in for an appraisal. They're not gonna know who the appraiser is. That person's gonna come out. They're gonna conduct a survey of the comps and they're gonna come up with they, what they think is the fair value for the home, which secures the loan that you're getting from the bank. So the appraisal, if the house doesn't appraise, then you have a situation where the seller is either gonna have to lower the price or in certain hot markets, the buyer might have to come up with the difference if they really, really want a home. But at the end of the day, if the house doesn't appraise, the buyer can walk away. Lastly, we have a home sale contingency. So this can oftentimes happen in slower markets or in a market where a house might be sitting for a long time. You might see a buyer come in that has a home that they currently live in, but want to move to another home. This actually happened to my sister uh, last year. She owned a home. She found a new home, she was just going around, she had no intention of moving. She was checking out other open houses and she found the home of her dreams. Well, that home had been on the market for quite a while, so she said to the seller, I will put in an offer to purchase your house, but my home must go under contract first and settle before I buy your home. That is a home sale contingency. So these are the four big contingencies that we see every day. There are a number of other contingencies, including radon and other things, but these are the key ones that you need to look out for and understand as a home buyer and a home seller. Contingencies, everybody got it? You understand? All right, if you have any questions or you don't understand what I'm talking about or you just have general questions about real estate, make sure to check us out at gibbonsgp.com or you can give us a call at 301-219-6517. We're here to help. We're here to help you understand what's going on in a real estate transaction. All right, so as part of every episode, we're gonna talk about important news articles impacting our DMV market. Well, articles are out there and the fall real estate market is hot. We've got low inventory and we've got some motivated buyers out there. But if you're a buyer, what you should know is that the fall market is still moving slower than the spring does. The spring is crazy, multiple offers, you have to be very ready to go and very aggressive. As a buyer right now, it's not quite like that, but it is very hot. And as a seller, if you are thinking about waiting, my question to you is, how long do you think this is gonna last? We've got the potential for interest rates to rise, people could see these prices going up, inventory could go up. So my recommendation if you are a seller, 
is to highly consider selling today in this fall market. And if you're a buyer, it's always an advantage to go out and buy in the fall as it's a little bit slower and might be more fit to your pace so that you can get the home you want. As always, reach out to us at GibbonsGP.com, 301-219-6517. I'm Larry Gibbons and have a great day.